Before we begin, let's quickly understand what shaders are and how they can enhance your Minecraft experience. Shaders are add-ons that modify the game's lighting, shadows, and overall graphics to create a more realistic and immersive atmosphere. They truly transform the world of Minecraft into something breathtaking. Closing square bracket. Now, let's talk about the shader pack specifically designed for Minecraft Pocket Edition version 1.20.50. This shader pack boasts a wide range of stunning effects, such as improved lighting, realistic water reflections, dynamic shadows, and vibrant colors. It really elevates the visual quality of the game. One of the biggest advantages of using shaders is the way they enhance the overall ambiance of the game. Whether you're exploring vast landscapes, delving into deep caves, or even building magnificent structures, shaders add depth and realism to every aspect of Minecraft. But let's not forget about the performance aspect. Shaders can be resource intensive, especially on mobile devices. Fortunately, the shader pack for version 1.20.50 we are spotlighting today is optimized to provide a great visual experience while maintaining a decent level of performance on your mobile device. Hash hash how to apply shaders on mobile. Now, let me guide you through the steps on how to apply shaders in Minecraft Pocket Edition on your mobile device. Follow along and get ready to transform your Minecraft world. 1. First, make sure you have the latest version of Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.20.50 on your mobile device. 2. Next, search for shader packs compatible with version 1.20.50. You can find these shaders on various Minecraft-related websites or community forums. 3. Get the shader from description. It will be a .zip file. 4. Open Minecraft Pocket Edition and go to the Settings menu. 5. Tap on Global Resources and then select My Packs. 6. Click on Import and locate the .zip file of the shader pack you get earlier. Tap on it to import. 7. Once imported, the shader pack will appear in the My Packs list. Simply tap on it to activate the shader. 8. Now, start or create a new Minecraft world and you should be able to enjoy the enhanced visuals provided by the shader pack. 9. Remember, if you ever want to switch back to the default Minecraft look, simply deactivate the shader pack from the My Packs menu. And there you have it, folks. You are now ready to elevate your Minecraft Pocket Edition experience with shaders. The version 1.20.50 shader pack we covered today opens up a whole new world of immersive visuals on your mobile device. Give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed the showcase, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Minecraft related content. Thanks for watching, and until next time.